Uh, greetings, Leo, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. I hope you're doing well today, and this is a bonus reading for all my Leos, Sun, Moon, and Rising for March 2024. And let's jump right in with an Angel Aura Oracle card to get the affirmations that you will need for this month for all of my Leos. And so I hope you're doing very well today, and I invite you to bring your own uh, question, inquiry, uh, concern, or challenge uh, to this reading to make it personal for you. And you can uh, gain the most information uh, as you do that. And so this is <clears throat> uh, Jophiel, number five, the color pink could be very um, important for you uh, this uh, month, um, Leo. Beautiful angel. And these are some of the affirmations to bring into your month. Compassion, self-care, simplification, and beauty, Leo. Will you shine so well in this area? And I love this gesture of lifting your arms and lighting candles and um, I can, I'm enough. And be careful about um, having feeling like you have to be in the role of a caretaker or that everything around you is chaotic this month or with a lot of self-criticism and a feeling shame. But my Leos, you're shining with pink and taking that number five is very important. And um, bringing compassion, self-care, simplification, and beauty uh, into this month and into this reading. And we have one angel oracles to be the mantra or the theme of this reading. And what is it that um, Leo needs to know right now as the theme of March? Listen deeply. Well, that really connects with this card of compassion and uh, self-care. And you need to listen deeply both to yourself and to someone else that is um, important to you right now, Leo. And let's uh, begin your tarot readings. And Spirit Guides, thank you so much for overseeing this reading for Leo. Sun, moon, and rising. And thank you so much for bringing us clear and concise and precise and informative information that Leo can take into this month. Thank you so much. And this is you, Leo. The Ace of Cups. Wow. Where you're jumping right in onto the stage with love, with this new love, with a sense of uh, self-love, uh, self-care as this is um, compassion. So that's the, the um, way you're seeing this month or this question you're bringing to a march. And your <clears throat> uh, hope and fear or what is a challenge or, um, to this is the Hierophant, a number five. So five here is um, in your angel aura card and then you've got the five of the Hierophant. You could be um, involved with a Taurus, um, that could someone, or also you might be um, challenged by uh, authority or a spiritual a teacher or a spiritual belief um, uh, could be challenged right now um, or challenging to love or that uh, you might be um, having to, um, the challenge could be uh, or what helps it is talking to someone you trust and respect about love or about this new love. Because the Hierophant also um, looks over and oversees marriage and commitment and contracts before God, before this, um, uh, our connection to a higher power. So that is a challenge. And what is um, the Ten of Pentacles is at the foundation well, a lot of abundance and wealth and a legacy. You might have been working for uh, years on this, Leo, and it's coming to fruition and leading to um, happiness and a feeling of home and family. 
that will extend way beyond maybe your life, but it's something you're going to be working on your whole life. And what has happened in the recent past was the Seven of Wands, where you've been defending your position, standing your ground, uh, standing up for what you believe in, and um, having a lot of determination toward that. And what is uh, the goal of this is the Two of Pentacles, is to um, be able to uh, balance um, and uh, <clears throat> be flexible with how you manage your money and your time and your uh, creative opportunities and to bring those down to earth and balance them. And you might be, uh, the goal of this might be asking you to uh, balance uh, work and play, a relationship like love and uh, something that you have to do um, at your um, creative process or a job you're working on. But it's something about balancing your resources and time and effort and to say that that's something that, as we know in life, is ongoing. Balancing our affairs, our money. And what is coming right now for you to see is uh, the tower, where something is coming out of the blue, uh, Leo, and it's going to hit you hard. Uh, maybe you have been um, building something on a faulty foundation and it's not really serving you, and it's been uh, really based on a kind of ego a pursuit uh, that is not sustainable. And um, often these uh, necessities or acts of fate come in because uh, we need to be brought down so we can really look at um, our situation and say, is this uh, really working? Is this real? Um, and to um, have an opportunity to build it on a firmer foundation because that's coming right now. And how you see yourself is the page of swords where you see yourself as um, like spying and looking and getting a, uh, um, some information about something in the terms of this uh, question, perhaps about love, about uh, feelings of love within you um, toward yourself or within your situation as you brought to this question. But it's saying that you're um, having a lot of quick energy. You might want to be learning about something or, or getting the details on something. And because this energy can be quick and stormy and just coming in, um, and this is how you see yourself, you might need to really, Leo, take time to really look at something and get the right information and to um, be careful about how you speak about the information you are getting. And your environment is the two of wands saying, in your environment, Leo, um, you have um, the people around you are have worked hard with their passion and energy and their a spark of creativity, a passion project perhaps, but they've done a lot of work on it and the environment is secure and um, has uh, firmly established uh, something in this relationship or in this uh, question you're bringing to March and uh, you're ready to uh, take it out. Okay, I've planned, I've established something, and now the world is my oyster. I want to see how it's received as I put it out into the environment. And your um, hope and fear is the Ten of Swords. Wow, well, um, because we have this tower coming right now, and your hope and fear is something in the realm of your um, situation and how you think about it because the swords are very much about our um, mindset, how we're um, uh, processing information, how we think through things. And it's saying your hope and fear is that uh, you'll, uh, you're afraid you might hit rock bottom about something. And maybe the tower is a, a, a part of that. Um, um, this, it seems like maybe, uh, there could be um, something coming up, a broken relationship, a betrayal, um, being uh, seen that this is a really um, tens or coming to the end of some long um, process of mulling over uh, painful and hurtful thoughts where you felt betrayed or felt shame 
um, shamed or just uh, nothing um, has worked out and you feel very defeated at this moment. That's your fear. And the um, advice is to um, be the king. Use your mind. Use your intelligence. Uh, see the situation and really use your um, IQ to go for the truth, to take your emotions out of this and to see it um, in a broader perspective. Um, and you know, um, as the advice to go for what is really true and right and accurate for you, Leo, as you approach um, the month of March with uh, this uh, very uh, unusual and um, somewhat a uh, challenging reading. So let's do a recap for Leo. You come upon this question as you come into March with uh, love, this new love or a beginning of love or a loving relationship starting or a passion, um, something that you will love very much in your um, and about this question, love is coming. And the challenge um, is the hierophant, is doing things by the book, following authority, the tried and trusted way, uh, looking to a higher power. Perhaps uh, this is card is originally was the Pope, but looking to a religious figure, maybe for guidance around love, um, or that the um, this belief system um, a religious belief, a perspective you have, um, is being uh, is the challenge to love. But it's saying uh, to be aware of that, those uh, authorities you trust, and to see how that is affecting in some way a love in your life this month. Because at the foundation, you've got abundance, everything you uh, possibly need to create this legacy, and you're working on it and will continue to work on it. And that's the foundation. A lot of abundance and happiness and um, productivity. And this could involve your family and family inheritance. And the seven of... Um, Wands was something that just came up recently. Uh, um, in the recent past, you've been standing your ground, um, dealing with competition, getting up to the top, uh, and seeing that it's worth standing up for this, for what you believe, for you, what your passions and your creativity and your intuitions are saying are right for you. And um, the <clears throat> crown or the possible outcome is uh, balancing your assets, taking an opportunity and having to work really hard at that um, and knowing that uh, life is go has this ups and downs with our finances and energy and material world around us. And um, I, that w will be um, what is coming up for you uh, in the um, upcoming um, <clears throat> month ahead as the uh, goal and you are coming into right now into this month with a sense of the tower some uh, something is coming in quick it could be a communication that brings something crashing down about a relationship about um uh, your uh, uh, foundation itself, uh, but something it's saying was not tr truly built on uh, what will s be sustainable, and it's going to have to come down, and maybe you just have been uh, living in this uh, false reality, Leo, and you have to wake up to that, and what is um, how you see yourself right now is this um, page of swords where you're um, using your mind, you're having these new ideas, uh, and you're um, learning something new. Maybe a communication is coming in quickly that might be uh, hard to handle, um, but that is you. You're using your mind about this situation, and um, your environment is um, has this passion um, a project that they've been working hard on and established something and now they're waiting and to see what's the next step in this where do I want to go with this 
and your um, hope and fear is the ten of swords that you're going to be betrayed, uh, be defeated, hit rock bottom, that these negative automatic thoughts that uh, bring you to this low vibrating energy is just going to bring you to rock bottom about something. But um, that's saying your hope and fear. And the advice is to, with all of this turmoil in your mind and this feeling of defeat, to use your mind, Leo, this month very uh, accurately and use your intelligence and really look at this um, issue that you're having to face with the tower um, from a higher perspective and to um, use your um, uh mind and kind of keep those emotions out um, of this situation as you come into March. Um, an uh, incredible reading for you, and you're going to be listening deeply. And it seems like listening deeply to a loved one. Maybe about this, uh, uh, as you came into the reading, something um, new in the realm of love of your heart. And you're um, moving into the number five, Jaffio, pink. And feel that healing, um, hot pink energy for you, um, Leo. And have compassion for your situation. Um, and learn self-care rituals. And simplify your life. And really focus on beauty this month. Because uh, you're being asked to avoid or be aware of um, being a caretaker for someone, of being um, in a situation that feels very chaotic, um, where you're um, feeling a lot of self-criticism and feeling shame. And that could be um, connected to the uh, Ten of Swords, that defeat as your hope and fear. But Leo... Um, you know you're shining, and we're going to uh, see what is it that your um, fairies, these are those uh, tender creatures um, that uh, know exactly uh, de our deepest thoughts, our deepest desires and wishes, and this is what your fairies want you to know as um, the um, advice as you go into this month. Admit your true feelings to yourself. Well, Leo, that's saying with this, as you see the question of the Ace of Cups, and then there is a lot of tower. Um, something is um, that you're seeing right now is crashing down, um, a shocking um, that the divine um, is striking something, a foundation you thought was firm down because um, you need to really admit your true feelings to yourself, Leo. That's a very powerful message. Be honest with yourself. Only you know what it is that you truly desire, Leo, as you go into March. And so a very interesting reading and one I hope you can take um, some uh, information and that, that resonates for your situation, Leo. And please subscribe to my channel if you like the way I read and if this in information helps you. I want to know how and what your situation is so I can uh, participate in this reading for each one of you as it applies to how you're dealing with the month of March uh, twenty. 24. So you know I love you, Leo, and I'm so happy to be in this reading together with you and in this interconnected field or where you are finding this compassion and self-care and healing. And you are um, being willing to admit your true feelings to yourself. And that will, by being honest, you will, um, you know, know yourself more deeply and only you know leo what it is that you truly desire and that is part of this month ahead and you will be uh, listening deeply to what you truly desire so see you next time leo and have a great day bye bye